to my channel. So today I'm going to be testing out the Makeup Revolution in collaboration with Soph eyeshadow palette as well as a highlighter palette. So if you want to see how I got this look then just keep watching. So I've already primed my eyelids with concealer and then set them with some powder and I've also pretty much done my face so foundation, bronzer, contour. I think I probably might put a little bit more bronzer on once I've done my eyes, but yeah, the face is pretty much done. I don't usually do my face first, but, but seeing as we're going to be trying out just the eyeshadows and the highlighters, I thought I might as well just save a little bit of time, and you guys have seen me do my face a million and one times, and to be honest, my products don't really change that much, so yeah, I'll link them all down below as usual. Today I'm just going to be focusing on the eyes and the highlight. So I ordered the eyeshadow palette and then the highlighter palette from Tan Beauty. I got it on the day that it came out. I remember I was really excited. As soon as I got back from work, I, to be honest, didn't expect there to be much left in stock, but luckily there was. And unfortunately, when it came the next day, it was smashed. I sent the pictures over to Tan Beauty and explained what happened and they were really, really good about it. Like their customer service is absolutely brilliant. Like their response time was something like, I don't know, 15 minutes in between all of my emails. They did have to give me a refund just because all the palettes were out of stock and then I just ordered from them again once they had all the palettes back in stock. This looks like this. It's got Soph in gold here as well, which is quite nice. I love that you get this really big mirror and it looks like quite a good quality mirror as well. You see that mirror? It's got this sheet over the top which has all of the eyeshadow names. It's great that she's got a black in there as well, as well as a white. I absolutely love Danger, Strawberry Sweets, Festive Flame, Copper Coin. So basically all of these red shades here and then these coppery red shades all along here. I love those types of shades. And I don't have an eyeshadow palette that's got a red like that, so I think that would be really nice. This is quite a popular shade, I think, and it's this shade here and it's petrol. Sort of like a bluey, browny colour. It's quite different, quite unique. I just think it's really pretty. You can see so many looks being created with this palette. And then for the highlighter palette, eight gorgeous shades right there. I think that it's quite nice to have an array of shades because then you can just mix them together. We all change shades throughout the year, so whether it's summertime or winter. So I love that you can just have one palette that's got shades that will accommodate lighter skin and darker skin. So again, I feel like this will be really good for traveling and for taking away with me on holiday or somewhere. I'm just gonna try it out and see what happens. So, by the way, I almost forgot to say, I love how Sophie's given eyeshadow names for all of her favorite things. So like some of these names are like pancakes, cup of tea or cup of tea, pug, festive flame, grow old, tiramisu, Nightmare, like I just love how the shade names are really personal and um, yeah I think that's another thing that makes it quite different about this palette. Like instead of it being a palette that has names that are really thought of so they're sort of really nice sounding and artistic, I just love that she's used things that are genuinely her favourite things. So yeah it's just really cute that there's an eyeshadow name called Pug and cup of tea and yeah, I really love that. I love that she's kept it quite fun. I have been rambling for 28 minutes, 15 seconds. What's really funny as well is I'm probably only gonna keep like two minutes of that in when I edit it. I have no idea what look I'm gonna go for today. I'm gonna go in with cup of tea first of all, which is just that shade there. You know what, seeing as there is a really nice size mirror, I might as well just use this. I never usually use mirrors holding them up. I usually just sort of balance it on my table just because I prefer to do my makeup like that. But let me try out this mirror. I'm gonna forget to not put it into the focus of the camera, so I'm probably just gonna be like this in the next five minutes. A cup of tea or cup of tea. a nice transition colour really, a nice brow and it actually does look like the colour of tea. <laughs> Next I'm going to go in with tiramisu 
that colour. And these are definitely really nicely pigmented. Like, bear in mind, guys, this palette is ten pounds. Oh, I really don't know what to go for. I haven't done green in a really long time. And I really want to use red. A strawberry sweet, that lovely red colour. about red eyeshadow but I just really like it I just think it's so pretty this is really nice I feel like this would be a good eyeshadow palette for beginners once you tap your brush into the shadow you're not going to pick up lots and lots of product and it's not going to be sort of overwhelming to blend out it doesn't seem like there's really much fallout either so far and I also feel like this would be a really nice palette if you're maybe more advanced as well yeah you can build it up I really like that now I'm gonna add red danger that one there oh nice okay what else should I add now Festive Flame, that one there. I feel like using that shade for me is so appropriate right now. I don't know about anyone else, but I am so excited for Christmas. Like, we're only in September, but I keep thinking about how Christmas is gonna be really soon, and me and my friend were talking about it the other day, and we're just so looking forward to like, going to the Christmas markets, and sort of decorating the tree, and you know, all of that fun stuff that you do around Christmas, and yeah, it's just such a nice, happy time, isn't it? So. Yeah, I feel like festive cheer, is it festive cheer? Sorry, festive flame. I feel like that is a very appropriate shade for me right now. I'm just gonna use my finger, I think, to put that shade on. Yeah, I really like that color. That's just really pretty. It's hard work holding the mirror, isn't it? <laughs> I feel like I have to keep checking in there to make sure that it's not hovering over. It is a really good size mirror, like I love that you can see your whole face in there because it's quite big. Huh? I just caught you into an insight of my tripod. <laughs> few books. This is a really nice size mirror, you can see your whole face in it, which is great. There's been a few times when I've gone to hotels and Trying to rely on the mirror in a hotel room is a little bit risky because sometimes it's above the sink and then it gets all in the way but then that's where the good lighting is so then you end up getting like cramp in your knee because you have to knee on the toilet. I can now go by the window and have good lighting and have the mirror. I really want to put that petrol shade right on either side but I just feel like I don't know if it's going to go. I feel like it might go but it's a bit of a risk. If it doesn't go, then it could be a disaster. <laughs> hmm. Should I do it? Should I just put on petrol? Because I feel like it's such a nice shade, I could be ashamed to not use it. I'm just gonna try it. I'm gonna take petrol and I'm gonna use that one as well. Is fall out a little bit on this palette with this shade petrol I haven't put any bake under my eyes I don't know whether to go ahead and do that now just in case yeah, I think I should because I could end up with a bit of a mess here I still wanted to take pictures and stuff just adding a little bit more of that festive what was it? Festive Flame. I think I do like it with the petrol as well. Like I do think it's nice, but I just really love red eyeshadow, so I sort of wish that I left it like that. At the same time, this is about testing out the palette and seeing like what the different shades are like. I really love that petrol shade. It's a really unique, like a bluey, browny, nicely deepened up the eye as well, but still with some nice colour in it. Again, I'm just tapping the excess, like almost like a halo eye, I guess. 
just sort of making the two colours meet at the top. Going in with my finger a little bit. That's what the lids look like. I'm not sure whether to deepen up the crease a little bit or anything. I think I just like it as it is. But I feel like seeing as we're testing out the shadows, I sort of might as well just deepen it up just to see what another shadow is like. Actually, it would be really interesting to see what this black shade is like. Darker shades really are a test. So I'm gonna use this black shade here called Nightmare. Just put it, oh, I'm just putting a tiny bit of that. I say a tiny bit, it's come on quite a lot. <laughs> okay, you've got to be so careful with black, don't you? I'm gonna use another blending brush, a clean blending brush. And just try and blend that out. Switch into the clean one. That wasn't difficult to blend at all. You only need to use a really small amount because it was quite nicely covered on the brush with just a little tap. So yeah, I quite like that black. I'm just gonna tap back into that petrol shade. I'm now gonna do my eyeliner, lashes, and then I'm gonna come back. So lashes are on, and I've also gone for a wing. Not that you can see it, because these lashes are really dramatic. So going into Strawberry Sweets. I'm gonna tap into Danger, just because that was a bit of a deeper red. And also run that along, but sort of going a bit closer to the lash line. And I'm just going to get a fluffy brush and just smoke that out a bit. I'm going to go into petrol and I'm just going to place that on either side. Festive Flame and also just put that right into like the middle. Basically just mirrored what I already did on the top. Add some mascara and I then just added a little bit of lip gloss. It's actually the Fenty lip gloss. I'll link everything down below as usual. So now we can go on to the fun part which is highlighter. I know that this one is like a really pale light shade so if you've got paler skin that will work really well for you i know it's going to be way too light for me i think i would probably be this one or this one maybe possibly that one and these could work as well but i don't really want to use the colored highlighters today hmm i think i'm gonna go for that gold there and see what that one is like Well, like, can you see how, like, in the mirror it looks really good, but on camera, it's just like this beam of a light at the top of my cheekbone, and that's what I absolutely love. That is really nice. That is really pretty. It's like... In the pan, it looks a little bit more golden, and then on my skin, it's coming off a little bit more of like a sort of pearly highlight, but I really like that because, like I said, it's just like a, a beam on top of my cheekbone. Looking at that in the pan, it definitely looks a lot more golden, and then when you actually apply it, it's more like pearly, more of a white highlight. If you like that, then that's great. Like I said, I do like that anyway, so. Other cheek. Okay. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh. I just realized I was supposed to do a different one on each cheek, but I got so carried away with this one that I just completely forgot. 
Never mind. <laughs> but yeah, I really like this shade. Recently, I've been wearing more sort of like golden highlights, like more of those rich gold highlights. Becca Champagne Pop to be precise, which I absolutely love. But my favourite before that was always like this type of like pearly, almost icy highlight. Obviously you have to be a bit careful if you've got deeper skin because then an icy highlight can sometimes look a bit ashy so you have to try and get like the right balance. But I really, really like this and it's just taken me back to the time when that was my favourite highlight and now I'm like, hmm, I might go back to it. If you didn't like that type of icy, more cool toned highlight, then you probably wouldn't like that. But the good thing is there are seven other shades in the palette. so. It's absolutely fine if that one is not for you. So overall, I really enjoyed using both the eyeshadow palette and the highlighter palette. The eyeshadows, I love that it had a nice big mirror in it so I could see my face and see what I was doing. As I said, I think it's gonna be great for traveling. Both the eyeshadows had really cute names. I love that it was personalized. It made it feel quite fun when I was putting the eyeshadow on. I love the quality of the eyeshadow, most importantly. For 10 pounds, I feel like it is really good quality like it really blended out really nicely really easily it had a nice lot of pigmentation on it there was a little bit of fallout but um, i do feel like the better the eyeshadow sometimes the more fallout you get anyway so i don't mind that too much i would usually do my eyes first anyway i didn't this time but i would usually it's very easy to blend out and obviously using darker shadows is more of a test because darker shadows can usually be, well they can turn out to be a bit of a mess if they're not very good. But I did use a black and it blended out quite nicely, I didn't have any problems with it. And the highlighter palette I also really enjoyed. Obviously I've only used the one shade. So I'm gonna have to have a bit more of a play with it and you know, try out some of the other ones and see what they're like. I can't believe that the eyeshadow palette is 10 pounds and the highlighter palette is like eight pounds or something. I think it's just such good value for money. Makeup Revolution are really known for bringing out affordable palettes but not skimping on their quality. This is my first ever set or first ever product or products from Makeup Revolution. And yeah, I am very impressed. Like I see what the hype is about and I see why people really enjoy their products. But yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed. If you did, then make sure you give this a big thumbs up, comment down below and subscribe so you don't miss out on my weekly videos. And I'll see you next week. Take care.